Hey, what's up everybody? It's Flux with FluxWithIt.com and today we're checking out the Anamodule Mixor. Now this is a module I've been kind of talking about a lot on Facebook, uh, but I haven't really had a chance to do a proper video on it. And I wanted to show you some interesting features of it. So very quickly, what this module is, is it's both an audio and CV mixer, but it's also kind of a sequencer and a mute module, a combiner. It, it does lots of interesting things. What it is, is we've got four inputs and four outputs that are attenuated by these knobs here. Okay, then we have a mix output as well. And then you'll notice up here we have a reset, a clock, and a CV in. All right, now these attenuators here are each for level, but what we also have is we have these push buttons uh, that will allow us to quickly mute or unmute. And so if I have it out, it's, this channel would be muted. If I push it in, you know, it's, it's firing away. You have gate input so that you can trigger these on and off. And what we can do is we can actually clock this module. So if you send a clock in here, what you'll do is you'll step through and each step will either turn on or off one of these LEDs depending on the state that you had it in. So if you have a state where it's normally on, then as a step comes through, it would shut it off. And then as it steps through to the next, it would shut the next one off and then this one back on and it'll step through. Now, if you had it inverse to that, this step would come on while this one would go off. The uh, CV in sees rising edge, so you can send it LFOs to get interesting sequencing and, and patterns out of the uh, Mixor module. And it's just very, very handy. It is um, able to pass CV through without any problems whatsoever. So you can use it to combine LFOs and modulation sources, pitch, whatever you want. So if you wanted to have, uh, you know, transposition by having different uh, pitch octaves going in there, you can do that, of course, or you can uh, combine pitches and FM and, you know, all sorts of interesting things in that way. Or you can use it as a standard mixer, audio mixer, you can use it uh, in, in just a lot of different ways. So I just want to show you a couple of quick patch examples and then uh, hopefully you can grab this module up yourself and, and kind of experiment with it on your own. Okay, so in this demonstration, what I've got is I'm using a few different modules as drum modules and I'm sending them all into the mixor. So I've got two organ accumulators, uh, one acting as a kick, one acting as a snare. So we've got the kick up top here, we've got the snare down here on, on input two, then I've got a hi-hat, uh, a darker hi-hat coming in on uh, input three, and then I have it's like a sub kick kind of thing going in on on input four from the DSM and What I'm doing is I'm sequencing them all with a beat step pro and then sending a trigger into the clock input and a reset uh, on step one of the beat step pro uh, Out to the mixer now the reason why I'm doing that is so that I can get this kind of like random uh, VCA kind of shutting sounds on and off action going with this and I've kind of adjusted the step offset a little bit here so if I unplug the clock let's go ahead and just listen to how this sounds without uh, any clocking going into the mixer now let's go ahead and send some clocking into it And I can adjust that as I see fit by going to the trigger step here. I can decide when I want steps to come on and off by adjusting those triggers. Okay. 
Okay, so this patch is a little bit different. Here, what I'm using the mixer for is I'm actually using it as a CV mixer. And what's really nice about this is I can basically send modulations around and pick and choose which modulations I want to use, how much of that modulation I want to use, and I can also blend those modulations as I choose. I can also go ahead and step through the modulations as I showed with the uh, drum patch. So in this instance, I'm just using uh, one organ accumulator. The organ accumulator is coming out into an SOB filter, which right now is wide open. And uh, from there, it's going to a Synthrotec VCA and into the Mutant Hot Glue. The, uh, so I'm, I'm just using a Pittsburgh envelope on it. And that's basically it. I mean, it's, it's a very simple patch. But these yellow wires here are... These patch cables are all coming from the mixor, and I've just molted uh, the output of the mixor into the scan to scan through ABC waveform and to scan through the index of the organ accumulator. Now, right now, I have no modulation is on. As you can see, all the LEDs over here are off, and I did that just by, you can press the little push button on here to turn modulation on and off. I have a E350 morphing terrarium up top here. Then I have a um, envelope and then I have a maths. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to allow this thing to run without any modulation and then I'll start running a clock into it and let you see uh, how we can affect it in different ways. Now if I want to turn on a modulation, Maybe I don't like that modulation and I want to try the envelope. Maybe I don't like that modulation and then I want to use the maths. Maybe I want to turn the maths down a little bit. I can attenuate it. I want to clock it and have the mixer selecting between them as it sees fit. So what I'll do is I'll just send it a few triggers. So I can get complex modulations in this way. Maybe I want to have a little bit less frequent triggering. And of course, if I want to have a steady modulation from just one of the outputs, let's go ahead and send that into the effect. say I wanted to trigger one of these modulations on and off more frequently than what the clock is telling it to do, I can send into the gate input and I'm going to send an oscillator into it. And I can adjust that as I see fit. And this is allowing me to do lots of interesting things here. So again, I have an oscillator triggering this envelope or this modulation source here on and off very quickly. And then I, I can, of course, attenuate it. And I'm always sending this modulation source out to my effect. Now, of course, it's going to be coming on and off and on and off as you see this LED. Uh, but it'll still go through the mix output. 
and I have, uh, you know, these guys are all off right now, but as I step through, it'll kick them on and off as I want. Now I can also trigger them on or off with the buttons here, and as it steps through, it'll shut those off. So now it's inverting its action. And of course, you can, you can use that to modulate lots of different things. I wanted to show this on a very basic patch, just so that you had an idea of how it was modulating it and in which ways it was changing the, uh, you know, the, the modulation waveform. But that's just a very easy way to use this thing as a CV mixer, which is uh, really interesting. So in this instance, instead of sending it a clock input, what I'm sending it is I'm sending it a LFO into the CV input, which it sees the rising edge and starts to step through and change what comes on and off here. So this gives me a kind of interesting, uh, interesting slope here. And as we adjust it, I can kind of, uh, there we go. So you can see how it's stepping through with the waveform of the LFO. And I can adjust the LFO rate. And this way you can get really complex modulations using the mixer and do some kind of pseudo random and lots of interesting things.